I'm recording this right now because, well, it feels necessary. And I'm emotional. I'm angry. I, I'm at a lack for words. And the part that sticks out most to me right now is how useless and helpless I feel. And recognizing the fact that that is how black men, women, children, minorities feel at the hands of police officers everywhere. Consistently and constantly. At the society that we have, at the government, at everything else, at people of power, they feel helpless. They feel useless. They feel like they are not making an impact and the fact that they are not being heard. They are not being considered equals. They are being oppressed and treated terribly. The media, police, government officials, it hurts my soul to feel this way and they feel this way every day. This is not one incident. This is not one incident. An effect of one call for justice. This is a call for change. This is a call to stop all of this. And I am hurting for them. I am hurting because I am watching the world watch us be terrible. And yeah, individuals, sure. Call it that, but it is systematic, it is consistent, and it's been years. They have been fighting for this for years. I've had conversations with many a friend about things like this throughout my life. Anytime an incident pops up, and the fact is that I am at fault in many ways for not having those conversations when there aren't active incidents that are public. It's not about one thing. It's about multiple. It's about consistent trends. It's about patterns of behavior and violence towards a particular set of people. It's about injustice. The fact that it's affecting one race, minorities, and those people, and white people, I'm sorry, have privileges and feel safe doing normal things, whereas black people and other minorities have to be afraid and feel afraid. Whether it's a traffic stop, that's routine. Whether it's sitting at home, whether it's playing loud music, whether it's jogging in the street, it's pervasive. And it's all throughout this country. And it hurts. And I'm tired of it. I can't imagine their hurt. I can't understand the shit that they have gone through in their life because I am not black. I am not a minority. I am privileged as a white man in this society. And I see it. And I am there as their fellow man and fellow human being asking you to act and to vote and to make change to Stop this. Use your voice. Beat them in the polls. Speak. I do not condone the violence, but the fact that we have been suppressing this for years and telling people that when they kneel during the national anthem, when they speak at press conferences and stuff like this as athletes, as public figures, and we say that's not the way. How are they supposed to make change if we tell them the ways they are trying before in nonviolent and other means it's not the way and constantly try to suppress their voice and have society as a whole oppress them, treat them cruelly, treat them as lesser. Maybe it's not you individually, but it is society as a whole. It is police officers. It is government officials. It is the president of the United States. And I hate to say it. But I, for the longest time, with everything going on in this world, I have lost pride in being an American. I have lost pride in what we are able to do as a whole 
and the freedom that we are supposed to have in the United States. Because, yes, we are supposed to have it. I don't believe it's true right now. I don't believe it's been true and equal for people of minorities for centuries. And the fact that it takes incidents and consistent incidents like this to bring this about and have us have the conversation is upsetting. And it hurts my soul. It hurts my soul seeing consistent videos of police cars running over people, of officers shooting into nonviolent crowds and sending tear gas into those crowds. And yeah, there's looting, there's stuff happening, but look at what's out there. Look who's causing it. There are obvious means of reasons why these want to be undermined. You can call it conspiracy theories, but there are videos and there are facts out there. I am pissed off at creators, and I'm sorry, Jake Paul, but you're an asshole. Actually, I'm not sorry. The fact that you use this as an opportunity to create content and be by looters and make jokes about bringing you something from a store, you are still trespassing and you are still doing things that are negative for this movement. You are not there for your fellow men and women. You are doing this for selfish means and selfish reasons, and that pisses me off because it gives a bad name to the rest of us. I'm tired of it, and I keep pointing off to my left because it feels weird pointing at you. I don't have words. I don't I don't have things that I feel like I can do, but all I can do is shout into the void and hope people listen. I am in a position of responsibility myself that I put myself upon. I am in a position where I put responsibility on myself to speak out about bad things that are happening and change that needs to be made. And I'm tired. I am tired of seeing this shit. I am tired of seeing people hurting. I'm tired of seeing people being innocent and being improperly pursued. And I'm tired of the lack of justice that is being put upon people in power who have caused such traumatic events and such issues. You need to be accountable, just like they need to be accountable. And they need to listen, and you need to speak. I'm tired. I'm hurting. I can't sleep. I'm enraged. I don't even know how else to put this into words. Again, I don't condone the violence. I don't condone the looting. But for gosh sake, I condone what these protests and what people are saying and the fact, the facts of the matter that exist. There is significant injustice. There is significant oppression. And there is significant police brutality. Specifically towards people of color. Towards blacks. Towards the minorities. It's, it's great to believe that all lives matter. It's great. You know why? Because that is a good and ethical morality and a good ideal to live by. But how can we say all lives matter when we aren't treated as equals by our own government, by our own society? That is why black lives matter. And that is why that focus needs to be there. Media controls the story. And arguably, maybe me as a creator is a part of media, which is why I'm speaking out. The reason this is happening is because of the constant oppression. The reason there are people in the streets protesting, some rioting, is because this is pervasive and has been going on for years and change has not been done. And if there, is, if there has been change, it is nowhere near enough. My God, does it hurt. My God, does it feel awful as a citizen of the United States to see how terrible this is being treated. How obvious this injustice is. And I'm tired of seeing officers in power be violent, for no reason. 
to shoot people with rubber bullets, to throw tear gas, to pepper spray people that are walking away, to hit them with your car. I understand that cops are probably fearful. I understand that not all cops are bad. But if that's the case, when you see a fellow officer or somebody else doing these negative things, stop them, arrest them, dismiss them. Show them actions have consequences regardless of what position you're in. I'm just sick and tired of seeing it. But I have to see it. Because seeing it and being aware of the world is important right now. And being aware of why this is happening and the reason behind it. And sharing the message that black lives matter. And that they are being oppressed and murdered on the street by officers. And treated poorly by people in power. Needs to be shown and needs to be said. I'm not going to avoid it. I'm not going to be silent because, frankly, silence arguably is on the side of the oppressor. And I'm not speaking up just because peer pressure or anything like that. I've seen it. There's so many orgs currently fighting for this cause and working to implement change. You have the Black Lives Matter movement, Reclaim the Block, National Bailout Fund, Black Visions Collective, the NAACP, um, the National Police Accountability Project, Color of Change Education Fund, Unicorn Riot, Campaign Zero, Advancement Project, and the Marshall Project are all great places where you can support and help implement change to stop this from happening and to force police and people in power to be accountable and have to be responsible for their actions and face the consequences. To implement change to stop this oppression and stop this violence and stop the terrible things that are happening to our fellow men, women, children. Do what you can. And there are organizations below that you can look at. And I know I don't have to share any of the video or any of the footage because it's out there. And you sure have probably seen it. And I know you might think this video is late, but I'm sorry, it's so hard to find the words. It's so hard to feel this hurt that they feel every day. Be the change. Make a change. And use your voice because you have an impact, no matter how small it may seem. Black lives matter. Human lives matter. And we are not equal until we are all treated equal by those that serve and protect. Those that make laws. And those that are there to represent us as a society. <laughs>